Hey everybody, how's it going? This is just a quick dark ride update. I'm going to show you really quick what I'm working on. Okay, I need 10 of these things and so far I've got two finished pieces here. This one I may darken up a little. I like this one a lot better. This is a fresh one that's in the mold and it's, uh, it's still drying and I'll pop that out soon. These are two I'm going to start painting, or I actually started already. These are two I just washed off. I wanted to show you the difference between these. This is crazy. I mean, it's cool. Look how much thicker this one is than this. And that's because I left this in overnight. And uh, so it was in several hours. So the longer you leave it, the thicker it gets. I mean, this is really super thick. It's probably a quarter inch thick. <laughs> And uh, if you want something that's going to be super tough, this is the way to go. On the edge here is kind of how I try to get most of them, which is about an eighth inch, like this one. This one's about right, but this one's super thick. So these have to dry, and uh, I'll just set them here for now, and then I'm going to spray paint them. But in the meantime, I'm going to take my, my black, and a little bit of my brown stain. The black is a little thin, so the brown kind of thickens it up a little. But I want a really dark, kind of a dark brown color. I've noticed this is more effective. If I use straight black, it doesn't, doesn't look like old steel as much. You know, it looks more, more clean. So I take a little bit of the black, a little bit of the brown, and just glop it all over it. Like so. Get this one too. So it's quite a process and I gotta do it over and over and over it will be worth it. I'll have a pretty cool bumper. I should probably move these because they're getting paint on them. So yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the works so far. Okay, I'm going to take these and just kind of get most of the paint out of the eyeballs and the recesses. And then I just work it with the rag. Okay, I'm going to let these dry, put them in front of the fan, and then I'm going to do it again. Okay, these two rubber castings are dry. I'm going to go ahead and paint them uh, the chrome, the first coat. I also wanted to show you these pieces. A couple videos back, I showed uh, making the molds for these. Now the molds for these is the material I'm using to make castings here. Now these are, these are hard pieces, so I'm switching the process. The mold for this is rubber, and I'm casting it in uh, polyurethane resin and Bondo. This is Bondo here, which is uh, really cheap. You can get it at Home Depot. But the first coat I put in here, I use this stuff. And I just got a new batch in from Douglas, uh, Douglas and Sturgis Incorporated, and they make a really good, affordable resin. And uh, this is under a hundred bucks, and it's two gallons, and that includes shipping. That price, I think it's like ninety something. Anyway, um, so I made a bunch of these. These are the same characters that are over the, over here, but they're just independent ones and they're hard, they're resin. 
and again I put polyurethane resin in and then Bondo inside. See, this one just has resin, doesn't have the Bondo in yet, but it just has a thin layer of the resin. Because Bondo is cheaper than the resin. But uh, this is the stuff here. I looked all over to find the best deal for polyurethane resin. And it dries really quick and it has low odor. It doesn't really have any odor to it. But this stuff dries in about, uh, oh, three minutes it cures. I'm gonna toss this in here. Okay, I got two coats of the chrome there. I went ahead and did that, the second coat. And then on this stuff here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat. And I think I'm gonna put mostly the brown on first, the dark, dark brown. I don't really know my brown colors. Maybe this is Van Dyke brown? I don't know any of you oil painters out there let me know what brown this is. <laughs> I just call it dark dark brown. Not dark brown, but dark dark brown. <laughs> and this is starting to work. How's that? already has kind of an old steel look but then you'll see I'm going to go back in and highlight this here's the next two and uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint those up. I think this time I'm just going to use a little bit of black. And then go with the brown. Maybe a little more black. Yeah, I think the dark brown really does lend itself to the the more old steel look. Okay, let's get some of this excess off. God, this one is so thick. <laughs> to show you this one this one was I pulled it out too quick from the mold and look at the deformity on the skulls these ones they got mushed because <laughs> they were they haven't completely set yet but I'm still gonna use it because they don't have to all be perfect I'm gonna set these in front of the fan too so I got the two double stained ones and these two and then when these two dry, I'll use the silver paint. And I In the meantime, I think I'm gonna work on this guy and stain him. This one's gonna go on the door. I'm gonna incorporate him into a, a big design on the driver's door. And if you've seen my older videos, you remember me ripping off that sunburst one I did on the door I tore it off I actually salvaged it it's still good so if anybody's interested in it let me know but this is going to replace that because that was too, a little bit too positive for dark ride
Yeah, so using the polyurethane resin for the first layer and then coming back in with a Bondo is, is a pretty affordable process, probably the most affordable. I mean, you could use polyester resin. That would probably be really affordable too. But man, that stuff is so toxic. Actually, the Bondo is pretty toxic too. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's pretty toxic. This one's not rubber, so you can't just hit it around. It'll, it'll smash <laughs> or chip. And this, this sculpture, I did it really rough, kind of organic looking almost. It's not really smooth. I just really wanted a, a really organic feel to it. Kind of like Rodin, like the way he does his sculptures, they're more natural. And so this is the first coat. I'm going to let this set. Get some of that out of there. And I think I'll end it off here on the video. Next, I'm going to do these ones too. And, uh, work on doing the silver but uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that for now even though this is just the first coat <clears throat> I decided to add a little bit of the the orange uh, orangish rust color for uh, to give it that look and then I'm I blue dry blue blew out some of the the brown over it which looks kind of cool